guys, thank you for watching my online bass guitar lesson series. Let's play that bass line. In this series, I transcribed and arranged a bass line into one minute, so you guys can learn the tune without taking weeks. Sound good, right? And to follow that, I broke that down into three short phrases as well. This week, I chose a classic slap bass line from the inventor of the slap technique, Larry Graham. With that said, let's play that bass line. from Jin's Bass Studio. In this channel, we share knowledge about this sexy instrument, the bass. I post content about bass lessons, gear review, pretty much anything about the bass guitar. So if you want to learn more about this awesome instrument, please give a thumbs up on that like button and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of our content. All right, let's get started. For this week, I arranged 1974. Air by Ready Graham with Graham Central Station from album Graham Central Station into one minute bass line. And I also broke this bass line into three short phrases for you guys to get started. In the early 70s, he produced a band named Hot Chocolate. And after he left the Slide and Family Stone in 1972, he joined and renamed the band into Graham Central Station. Their first album, released in early 74, was named Graham Central Station, and it included the hit Can You Handle It? But later in 1974, the next album, Release Yourself, also became the hit. And the Graham Central Station quickly became a known band in the 70s. But the band wasn't just known for his great songwriting, it was also known for the great slap bass line. According to Larry, when he played for his mother's band as a guitarist, mother's organ bass pedal broke. So the temporary, he started to play bass guitar until the pedal get fixed. That was his initial idea. But when the drummer left the band, he had an idea of covering the sound of the snare drum and the bass drum. By the slap of the thumb being used to emulate the bass drum, and the plucking of the index or middle finger as a snare drum. This style of bass playing has become part of modern funk music and so many musicians around the world have been influenced by this slap technique, including Marcus Miller, Victor Wooten, Stanley Clark, Mark King, you name it guys. If you'd like to know more about Larry Graham, please check the description below. Alright, as I mentioned in the beginning, for those of you guys who like to learn just a section of the bass line, as always I have broken down the bass line into three section and play that in slow tempo for you guys get started. With that said, let's jump into that video. Since the slap bass line requires a fine control of the right hand in general, 
practicing in slow tempo is just a great way to develop a clear technique and sound. If this tempo was still too fast to play, then please go ahead and change your play speed setting of the video, which locates right hand corner of the screen. Make sure to slow it down enough so you guys can isolate the part even better. All right, as always, it is right about time for me to share my three best pieces of advice and practicing points when it comes to learning these bass lines. First advice, find your thumping sound. The slap technique requires finding out the sweet spot of your thumb to get the good thumping sound. This spot can change based on your angle of the wrist as well and of course, everyone has different thumb shapes. So my sweet spot can be slightly different than yours. I do understand you want to get to pull sound quickly as you can, but slap 101 starts from the thumb technique. Before you move on to pull, make sure you get the good thumping sound first. Second advice, practice octave slap line. Once you find your sweet spot on your thumb to get the good thumping sound, now it's time for you to learn plucking, or I call it pull. For this, octave bass line is a great way to get started. You might already notice that octave bass line can be used in variety of slap bass line on many genres of music. That is because it is very natural to move around up and down with the slap technique. If you can, include the octave bass line in your daily slap practice routine. Third advice, use your arm and shoulder. Try to avoid using just your wrist while you are playing with the slap technique. The wrist is very weak. Practicing and playing long hours, a lot of musicians start to get suffer from wrist injuries and carpal tunnels. Once you get the wrist problem, it is very hard to overcome those injuries and it can take years of recovery time. So guys, start from relaxing your shoulder first. Then when you thumb, it should come from your shoulder to the arm to the wrist with using your weight of the arm. These three points of travel will help you play slap with a healthy wrist. I hope these three points will help you to get the right feel and the right sound of your playing. Make sure to keep the consistency on your slap technique. Keep practicing, you got this. Thank you so much for watching my videos until the end. As always, I try to point out only the importance, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments. I will try to get back to you the best I can. Thanks for the support. And if you guys liked my content, make sure to hit like. Because when you hit like, algorithm blesses me to share my videos to other bass players around the world, who is also interested to gain more knowledge on bass guitar and helps them out. This also helps me out. So it's kind of win-win for everybody. If you're looking forward to see more of my bass guitar content, then make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, that's it for today's bass lesson. Play the bass. See you next time.